So basically in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flushing out the old coolant out of the uh, car. To do that we will basically need to remove the entire under panel down there that covers the bottom portion of the car. Then we'll remove the lower radiator hose which you guys cannot see here. And from there you can drain all the coolant. Um, and then afterwards you can fill up from here, run the uh, electronic bleeding procedure that is on BMWs and that should bleed the engine. So we'll get started. What you will need for this is a bucket to mix your coolant, gallon of distilled water, and your coolant concentrate. Also a funnel will help uh, to not spill anything. All right, so I'm underneath the car now, uh, facing up. So there's the back of the car, and here's the front, and here's my under panel, which is all scratched up. But basically, the stuff that you need to remove are these bolts that are holding on this piece. There are some um, pull plug types where you have to pull these down before you can remove this part. So make sure that you know of that and don't mix those up. And then along the front as well, there's a bunch of these guys going along all the way to the rear, back around here, go back around there, and then back out again. And that should allow for this portion to come out. And it gives you access to, when you're facing up from underneath the front of the car, um, the lower radiator hose, which should be right here. Uh, and we'll be able to drain it. So let's start getting those guys out. All right, so all the bolts will use a eight millimeter uh, socket. And then for the pull down type, what I'm using is just a pick tool like this. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight for really cheap. Um, but yeah, just get in there, pull them out and it should do the trick. So I'm gonna start removing these guys. All right, so here's a general layout of the screws that you're gonna have to take out. Uh, there's a bunch of these eight millimeters. You can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of these guys. And then there will be two of these uh, pull type at the front. And <clears throat> that should allow you to now um, get that under panel off right there. Um, yeah, and now you should be able to look through the entire car. Uh, okay. So, this will come out. And there will be plenty of gross stuff on here. And it's actually a good time to, for you to look at this. And you can see where the leaks are from your car. So if anything up front, that would be coolant. Um, right here, it looks like there's some oil spillage. So uh, it could be potentially from not torquing that drain plug down or something like that from the past. Um, and besides that, uh, it's looking pretty good. All right. So now we're looking at the bottom of the car from the front. So we have our intercooler down here. So this is the intercooler uh, pipe duct work right here and here. This is the intercooler at the very bottom. We have the lower radiator hose which should be right above this up here. Um, one of these guys. And then right above it, that's our air box. We have um, the power steering rack which is right here. We can, you can actually take a look at it now, see if there's any damage or leakage or anything like that. Um, besides that, we can go in and also take a look at uh, our oil drain plug. And it looks like it is, it looks sealed. There doesn't look like there's any leakage or anything like that. So it looks good. Uh, here's our plastic oil pan. We can take a look and see if there's any cracks that kind of stuff and uh, it looks good it's pretty hot from my last drive still and our engine mounts look good right here and here 
Uh, besides that, I think we can get started on this uh, coolant drain. So we have to identify and find the lower coolant, uh, the lower drain, lower part of the hose. And once we undo that, we should be able to start draining the fluids. All right, so again, underneath the car, uh, this is the right-hand side or the passenger side for uh, the N20 engine. This is part of our intercooler, so we're not gonna touch that. And if you look straight up and right here, this guy will be the lower radiator hose. So we'll be undoing it right there and catching it below. Additionally, right in front of the engine, so if you go straight back from there, we have our power steering and above it, this is our water pump, the electric water pump. And you'll be undoing it right here and catching it below as well. So I'm gonna set up, put some plastic bags so we don't, you know, spill into important components and start this drain process. So I cut open some bags and I have some plastic now. This is the intercooler hose right here. So we, when we drain, it won't get all the coolant all over everything. Additionally, I covered up uh, my motor for the electric steering rack uh, just to protect these uh, wiring components. I don't want any coolant spilling on that so when we drain this guy right here it will just uh, go into the bucket. So now let me find the right fitting for uh, these hose clamps and we can start undoing these to drain it. Alright I'm going to start off with the uh, hose clamp from the uh, electric water pump and that is going to require this guy. It's a six millimeter, so I'm gonna undo that now and uh, start draining it. So I have the electric water pump um, hose clamp loosened. Now I'm just gonna <clears throat> slowly pull this pipe back and um, we should start draining the coolant. So now we have the coolant. <clears throat> so you can see the coolant is now running out right here. It's actually running along top of my bag. I'm catching it back there. So. Alright, so I'm holding it now. You can see. Again, you don't really need this bag, it's just up to you. Um, <clears throat> I thought it would help, but <laughs> this is the result. Oh shoot! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't do that, don't do that. I pulled the whole pipe off and I got coolant all over myself, so don't do that, that's bad. So now just looking in from the top, so this is the coolant reservoir, you can see it's completely empty. Pretty grody in there, so ignore that. Um, and I have coolant everywhere, yay! But yeah, it looks like it's finished from the water pump side. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the pipe a couple times to see if any more comes out, and then I'll move on to the lower radiator hose. <clears throat> okay, so from the top, this is the engine bay. We're looking down at the lower radiator hose which is right in the middle of the screen right now. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There you go. So how we're gonna get this off is, uh, you can see it has this um, pipe, uh, sorry, hose clamp right here, but there's no screw to get it off. So right here, there is actually a um, pull up tab. So if you get like a screwdriver or a pick right here and pull it up, it should unlock the entire thing and you'll be able to take this out and drain it. So let's give that a shot right now. 
I've actually removed my air box. Uh, you can watch my air intake video for that. Basically, you just have to pull the plugs out from the front and here. Then you'll be uh, actually undoing this guy and just pulling the entire box out. And that will give you pretty much clear access to this lower radiator hose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically undo the clamp right here, the, the pull-up type, and um, it should undo that and start draining. All right, so again, there was that clamp right here, and I went ahead and I just pulled it up, so you can see. Now this should allow this pipe to move, so now I'm gonna move my drain pan below this and start the drain. All right, I didn't manage to grab it on video, but you can pull this all the way up and out, and then this should go straight back. And there's notches that indent on the top and sides that make it so it's pretty much impossible to put back in wrong. I've drained the coolant now and I'm gonna go ahead and um, fill it up and start the bleeding procedure. Then I'll put the air, back, air box back in to verify everything. So let's, let's try this. All right, so in this bucket, I'm gonna mix my one gallon of distilled water. I'm gonna try pouring in around uh, half of this. Wait, let me double check something. All right, so the N20 engine needs 7.1 quarts of coolant. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, mix it to create the 50-50 mixture. And then I will measure it out again using uh, this guy right here. So let's go. So now we have our mixture of 50-50 coolant, uh, concentrate, and distilled water. What we're gonna do is this car takes 1.75 gallons of coolant. And so we're gonna load this back up into the, um, the containers that they came in and uh, we can pour it into the car.
All right, so there's our first gallon. Uh, I'm gonna now start pouring it into the uh, overfill uh, contain, uh, the overfill whatever in my car and then load it up again to about 0.7 and then load it up into the car. So, all right, so right here you can see uh, this is the coolant info for the F30 N20 engines uh, with the automatic transmission, which is what I have. I have the ZF8. We're looking at 7.6 liters, and that's around two gallons where you're going to use all of the mixture that we created today with the one gallon of distilled and one gallon of concentrate coolant. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring the rest of this into here so we can fill the rest up. So I'm looking at the um, proper bleeding procedure for the F30 right now. Um, so as you can see, we're going to be basically skipping the vacuum filling device portion because we do not have that. So you can start off by um, opening up all the bleeder valves. bleeder screws, if you will. Um, then you'll be pouring the new coolant into the overfill tank. Uh, and you continue to pour until basically um, those bleeder valves stop leaking bubbles and you're just only getting coolant out of them. And once you do that, you can close all the bleeder valves. You can close the overfill tank and you can start the bleeding process. Um, so as you can see, you can connect the battery, you switch the low uh, to the low beam, uh, make sure not to be an Eco Pro, set the max temp, and turn the blower down to low, and then hold the pedal down to the floor for 10 seconds. Um, and this should start the bleeding process, and it would take around 12 minutes. Um, and once that is done, you can adjust the level in the expansion tank um, to the mid-max level that is written on the side of the tank, and that should be it. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is helpful, and I will make sure to include this link in my video um, if you guys want it. And yeah, hopefully this is uh, useful. All right, so I'm gonna start the bleeding process for this car. As recommended by BMW, you should plug this into a trickle charger or something while you do this so that the battery does not die. So to get started, you have to jump into the car. All right, so inside the car, you're gonna turn the car into position one. You're gonna turn your low beam on. You're gonna go ahead and turn your temperature all the way up. With the fan on blower slow. Now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start pressing the accelerator pedal for about 10 seconds. Let's see if that worked. You should be able to hear the water pump running. And you should leave this for about 12 minutes and then uh, it will complete the bleeding process. So the electric water pump is uh, now bleeding the entire system.